Welcome to Thurmwood Farm here in uh, Map Ida, Dorset. Uh, my name is Andrew Johnston. I work in partnership with my parents, Raymond and Christine, along with help from my wife, Kate, and we've recently employed Miss Emma Peake. We farm a total of 225 acres. We have a milking herd of 130 cows. They are milked twice a day through a 10, 20 swing over herringbone parlor. Average yields are 8,400 litres per cow. Butterfat percentage is 4.33% and our protein percentage is 3.38%. During the housed period, our cow's diet consists of two thirds grass silage, one third maize silage, which is balanced with neutral maize, polymix and dairy minerals. This gives us 20 litres from total mixed ration and is fed to yield in the parlour with Optima 18 nuts. We add Lintec to the concentrate to increase omega-3 in the diet and boost midwinter fertility. We also use Translac Advance on our dry cows to mop up excess calcium in their diet. Our cows are currently strip grazed and receive 10 kilograms of maize as a buffer feed, along with round bale silage. This gives us 18 litres of milk and they are fed to yield using Optima 16 nuts in the milking parlour. For us, improving efficiency is really important because in the current climate, it reduces the amount of bought in feed and improves overall profitability. My parents won an award for a milk and forage competition uh, in 1983, and this has continued to the present day, where we're currently producing 54% of our milk from forage. To get the best from our forage, some of the things we do include uh, cutting early. This has worked particularly well for us over the last four years, uh, cut, taking a first cut, end of April, beginning of May. Uh, it improves the quality of silage in the clamp and the regrowth enables us to graze with the dairy herd at the end of May. Silage is clamped using side sheets, two top sheets and a net. We use a Pioneer 1188 additive, which we feel improves the quality of silage in the clamp, along with the milk constituents and reduces waste once the clamp is open. We currently reseed 20 acres a year in the autumn with a medium term cut and graze lay. To make better use of our slurry, we've been using a trailing shoe system for the last 10 years. And this helps us to improve the quality and quantity of grass we produce. I think soil analysis has to be the beginning. It is the foundation that is involved in growing good quality forages. It's really important that we have a starting point that we then have a monitoring point to see how our nutrient management plans are falling into place and then go back to making a mixture, one of our top grass, grass wards that actually suits the fertility of the soil. The mixture really has to be designed for the farm. The forage maize plays an important part in the diet here as it does on many farms. The idea behind the maize and the grass on the farm is that we're actually promoting crop rotation. Uh, we're moving round fields, we're reseeding with new mixtures. Obviously it's a little bit lower in protein and then that has to be balanced. But that's why then we focus on producing high quality grass silage with the inclusion of red clover in our top grass mixtures and also our white clovers in our grazing mixtures. If we can focus on protein and forage, that means that we rely less on bought in protein feeds. Four farmers also offer nutrient management planning um, and through this process we have been able then to actually work out far more accurate recommendations because we'll have a value of our slurry, we'll have a yield, a tonnage of each crop set out and we'll know then what to apply in conjunction with our chemical fertilizers and that nutrient management plan can be worth its own weight in gold. I think the costings speak for themselves with the Johnstons, you know, rolling end of year March 22, their fee cost per litre was eight pence their feed rate was 0.23 kilos per litre and their milk from forage is never under 50%. I think the main thing with the, working with the Johnsons closely is the consistency of their approach. The routine we go through, we, we meet every month, look at the costings first, we check the visual out report through to make sure that the intakes, feed intakes are right, the milk qualities are where they need to be. We do a forecast for Barbus milk contract and we use the King's Hay forecasting for that and it's highly, highly accurate, very, very good. So we always analyse the silages. Normally we're targeting a 15, between 15 and 16% protein content of the TMR mix using the dry near infrared technique. 
we actually pull this together, feed it into OptiFeed, and we can really make some savings. Protein in the dry NIR sample this year was higher, so we could actually reduce the, the Polymix 38 that we feed as a balance in, in the diet. So we were able to make savings there. Johnson's also used grass bulletin, see what the maintenance plus factor is, and make feed adjustments in the parlour accordingly, which helps keep this feed rate where it is at 0.23.